Hi, this is Paris Wolf teaching cryptography. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like, and comment if you have any questions. So with a rainbow table, that's where they're taking a mapped hash value to the original plain text value. It's a, typically an offline attack, and how this typically works is that you log into a website such as Amazon.com, and it takes your username and password. A company, they don't want to store your password in their database because that's risky if someone were to break in. So what they do is they salt that password, and then they hash it with a hashing algorithm, or they use a something like Bcrypt that salts and hashes the value. Now, the hash value is stored in their database, and so the rainbow table is assuming that they've already broken into that database and then downloaded it onto their computer. Now they're taking their pre-computed list, which is the rainbow table of hash values, and comparing that to the hash values that they've stolen of that database. And they're looking to see if they're able to map that to a plain text to be able to log into uh, one of these systems with your username and password. Salting, it can be an effective way to mitigate against rainbow attacks, but it doesn't guarantee that. Now, the hash message authentication code, that is referring to the integrity and authentication of a message, and it involves hashing the message with a secret key, and it's a little bit different from the standard hashing uh, method. It's a purely one-way method uh, function, and again, it involves hashing the message with a secret key. Now, Apache Password Recovery 1, uh, APR1 is a hashing algorithm used for generating password hashes, and it uses MD5 and hashes that value about a thousand times. It is configurable and to slow down the attackers. So it just keeps hashing the hash value a thousand times. So it's a very slow process.